This is the guy the rebirth and the re-education. The occupation. It's a different situation. I'm a little agitated today, so this may be a rant. See you, Victor. On my Patreon, I was in a very, a very interesting conversation about what drivers should do next. In this conversation, I was asked what I would do next. This, uh, this guy starred, um, because on, um, Patreon, you can message me directly. You mess when you message me directly, John, I see you. When you message me directly, this phone rings when you're on Patreon. So it's kind of like having my number. So I could be put into any array of, um, I see you supreme, of crazy conversations. And one of the conversations, this conversation is about what should be done next. No, I, 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 um, it got spirited and I, I so I really do um, apologize if this cuts into a rant because it just, it pisses me off a little bit. Um, when you're having a conversation or a debate with somebody about what to do in trucking and they switch gears to, to uh, business. The reason why this makes me so angry is because you have no business. That's one. Number two, the greater population of in our field are not business people. So when a person's person switches over to business and trucking, they're usually talking about a very small number of people. And what it does, it leaves the rest of the people out, which is trying to work and take care of their families and just have a decent job, American dream, et cetera. It leaves them out. And when people talk about talk like this, this, oh man, I'm just going to start a business. I'm just going to do this because, you know, trucking is dead. When they get like this, they just sound very selfish. They sound arrogant. It sounds stupid most of the time because for you to say trucking is dead so cavalier, it, you know, that, that really needs to be watched. Watched. Everybody in here is getting a check from trucking, a check that they depend on. And I hate being in these conversations with these people because it sounds so arrogant. I can hear what video they got it off of. I don't think it's genuine. I think it's just to sound good about themselves. That's what I think it's about. You want to sound good about yourself. And if any of this stuff is true about what you are saying, it's great. But why interject it into my conversation? Why interject it onto me? I believe that it's a way to push your insecurities onto other people. People are still getting checks from trucking. So it, it got down to the point of, well, what are you going to do next? And I told him, you know, I've been thinking about going OTR. I'm probably just going to go back OTR because I, I don't like local. And he was like, oh, no, nah, man, no, nah, man. Ain't worth it, man. You don't get to be home, man. And it got me in a, a mood. It got me in a mood because I just, I just, I just stopped and I just was like, bro, you want to go home? Yet? What the fuck is at home? Tell me. I want you to, I want you to expand on what's at home. That's what you're about to lean into. You're about to lean into talking me out of going back OTR because it's not worth it. Okay. What's at home? Oh man, well you, you get to see your family. I said, let's be real, bro. Let's be real. Y'all don't give a fuck about your family. You don't care about your family. Shut up. You don't care about your family, for one. Because when y'all go home, you don't spend time with your family. When truckers go home, they indulge in their vices that they can't do on the You understand? I see you, Rangers. You don't, you don't spend time with your family. No, no, man. So what do you do with your family? You know what I'm saying? Hang out. No, you don't, bro. You chase butt. You drink alcohol. Home is a trap, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a way to charge you money. Everything costs at home, bro. Now, if you have, you know, a Gemini job laying around, good for you, but they ain't enough for them for all of us. So you can't forget about it. I don't want to hear that. What are the rest of us going to do? You're good. You're situated. Be situated. What the rest of us going to do? Mm. So you go home, even if you work at Gemini, because you can be regional at Gemini. You go home, what, what happens? These dudes is, who's acclimated to being on the road, they got to get an apartment, right? They got to get an apartment. How much is an apartment going for right now? We'll call it $1,700. So now they got to pay $1,700 a month. Parking, lights, all their uh, parking, lights, internet, all their video, TV apps, right? You got to go out. So you're going out more. You're driving more. You got a gasoline bill. If you don't have a car, you have to acquire one. If you do, you're driving it more. All you have, all you can express to me is that you'll be paying more bills. That's the only thing you can tell me. That's the only thing you can tell me, bro. You'll be paying more bills. 
If you have children, you are naturally excluded from this conversation. You shouldn't even speak. It's not for you. You got kids, you got responsibilities. You made that decision, deal with it. But if I go home, I believe, I believe this type of talk subconsciously got into my head years ago to the point where I would think I was missing something. I thought y'all were at home living these illustrious lives, bro. I thought that. I'm stuck on it because I'm saying this because there's someone around there right now driving over to y'all, driving down the road and feeling like they're missing out. They feel like everybody is home going to the gym every day. They feel like everybody is home with a social life. They feel like everybody is home making TikToks at restaurants. Everybody is home eating the right thing. They feel like everybody is home doing all that shit, bro. They feel like that. And they start feeling down on themselves. They feel like, I don't get to do none of that shit. They had the crib going to the gym every day, running a mile, fasting, doing yoga. <laughs> you think that's what people are at the crib doing, bro? You think that's what they're back home doing? They're at home watching travel video. The truth is they're, they're not working out at home. Truckers are fat at home too. They're not working out at home. They're still eating fast food. They're still booking fast food. They're still not getting rest. They're still working 14 hour days. It's a, it's, it's a sham dog. It's a lie, man. Now, if that's something you've always done, I get it. But this is in the context of people who do OTR. Do not believe the hype, bro. If you have a medical condition and you can't control your weight, you got to go home. It's that simple. But y'all, they, they present this to us as if locals, the freaking promised land, bro. It's not, it's not dog. It's not the promised land, bro. Most OTR cats that came through that regime down the plantation, most of them go home and come right back to OTR, bro. That's the truth. That's the truth. Most people who go home, they give it a crack. They give it a swing and they go back OTR, man. Now there's some, there's some, you know, there's some differences to the rules and all that, but that's pretty much what happens. So why are you so bent on telling me to go local? Now, if I've been local for a while and I'm here to tell you it's bullshit. It's not something that I'm interested in doing. And we're not going to, I'm not saying about pay. I'm not saying about any of that. I'm talking about the actual action of you controlling. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, your ability to switch my shift whenever you want to. I'm running full amount of miles every single day. I'm seeing the same place over and over. I don't think it's a good deal, personally. I don't think it's a good deal. I'm not attracted to it. So when the sell pitch become a whole bunch of other things, like, I'm going to go home so I got time to build. You ain't going to build shit, dude. They're going to work you to death, bro. Six days a week, five days a week, 14 hours a day, period. When you get off, you ain't got no time to read no books. You ain't got time to build no business. You ain't got time for none of that. You got to drive 20 minutes to the house. Chill at the house for maybe two hours, fall asleep, wake up four in the morning and do it all over a freaking year. That's the real fact about it. And you believe that I'm going to free myself by going local, man. You really putting yourself in a prison, bro. That's how I feel. So I told man, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about going OTR for a minute. And it's just like the worst thing to people, bro. Getting stuck in the trunks down. Oh my God. Maybe I'm built for it, bro. I'd rather be doing that, though. To be honest. I got to go to the dealership Wednesday and um see if, see if Boss Man got the truck for me. I told him, man, I'm I'm not interested in doing a lot. I ain't even go to work this week. I said, I ain't interested in doing no local work, bro. Do you have a truck for me or not? Do you have the truck for me or not? I want to start to pour into the OTR drivers to let them know that if you don't know it right now, I'm here to tell you, you are winning, bro. I'm here to pull into the OTR drivers that feel bad about themselves because their family members ain't calling them while they're on the road and they feel lonely. I'm here to pull into the people who lost relationships because they're on the road. She don't want to be with you no more, but she couldn't get on the truck. I'm here to pour into them and let them know you're winning, bro. You're winning. You just don't know it. It's a mental. It's where you at mentally. You don't know it. But we're not getting paid what we should be getting paid. But the truth is, I, I implore every dude to just, just minimize on what you're giving out. Being in the truck means you need less things, bro. You need less stuff. You need less shit, bro. You don't need all this stuff, bro. You can leave here, man. Cruise the Vista. You hear me? Worst thing I ever did was just speed, be local, bro. Shit is whack.
That's how I feel. You can limit what you're putting out. You understand? You can limit that shit, bro. You can shoot. You you can run tight the first day. You hear me? And then BS the next day. You don't have that power at the house. Garth, I see you for hitting the cash out. You don't have that power at the house. Now, if you're someone who likes it, I'm not a hater. I'm not. Hey, man, you like it. You like it. I'm telling you, I think the deal's bullshit. But then again, I'm a plantation nigga. Y'all private school cats. I understand, right? You didn't, you not, you understand? You, you, we not the same. Not to say one's better, not to say one's worse. You got what works for you. I'm here to say it's bullshit and I don't agree. I think it whack. I don't like it. And even those jobs that are paying a bunch of freaking money, they want you to run overnight in perpetuity. That doesn't sound like a good time to me. I'm just, I'm just sorry. I don't want to do that. When you local, any job that gets you into the mid thirties, they want you to be overnight. You're not going to schedule me to be stuck overnight for the next 10 years. I'm not interested, bro. I don't want to do that. Then if you're not overnight, they trying to pay you do- nothing. Every single one that's paying you, you know, oh, this is some good money. Always overnight. Interesting. Randall, I see you. Appreciate you for showing love. I just feel like it's, it's, it's propaganda. That's how I look at it, though. It's propaganda. Big money truck, I see you. It's all propaganda. It's bullshit. You hear me? These people may have very good jobs, and I'm not no hater. I'm no hater. Get your good jobs. Live your good money. But the same way OTR is not for them, o- local is not for me. And if that offends you on this channel, it's crazy because this has always been an OTR channel. I don't come over to your local channel and tell you to go OTR. I don't do that. I don't do it at all. T1 specialist, I see you. I don't do that at all, man. That's the life you want to live, man. Hey, you live it. But I'm, let me tell you some things I miss. I miss having a 600 mile day and nobody call me. I miss that shit, bro. I, I, the, the amount of talking that you have to do. The amount of speaking to irrelevant human beings you have to do local. I just, I, I cannot take it. I, I, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I've had some life-changing things happen to me in the past week. And that could have something to do with it. But it's just like, dude, why am I watching travel channels when I can get out there? Like I, I and, and people, they don't believe you when you say, I mean, you know, I kind of miss OTR. No way. OTR is terrible. How is it terrible? How is it terrible, man? If I'd have never went OTR, I probably would have seen five states. I've been all over this great country, bro. I got favorite restaurants in different states and different parts of the country. When I talk about that with people that they don't even know what I'm talking about. You hear me? I'm just not that box stand, bro. Like, I just feel like there is a certain person for that. Say, man, I, I got to go OTR. Ain't none of you, man, look. None of y'all know about Crawfish Town down the county off the 10. None of y'all know about, 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 about Arizona, Arizona, about a pilot, that Mexican food place that'll change your life. You hear me? None of y'all know about these places, man. Y'all never know about these things. No one knows about just, just sometimes, you know, Bob telling to the movies on a humbug. You hear me? And just Bob telling to the movies, pocket full of money. Chilling at the movies and all that. You know, nobody knows about, you know, you've been doing good with your stuff. So you finally decide to splurge at some random mall in Texas. You walk in there like a freaking superstar, bro. Nobody knows about these things, man. At home, it's just, I'm so busy governing my sleep. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing, bro. I do, I do nothing, bro. Nothing. Because if I do it, I, over, I don't want to be tired the next day. You hear me? Like, if someone understand what I'm saying, say you understand what I'm saying, bro. It's like, man, I could go do something, but shoot, man, I got to be up two, th- three in the morning. So, man, I'm just going to lay around, relax my bones for the rest of the day. I ain't doing shit. I ain't doing nothing. A lot of y'all going to give up because I did it. A lot of y'all going to give up a lifestyle that was for you to go home, to fit inside of societal norms that ain't for you. Some niggas is high niggas. You hear me? I ain't never lived. Parents ain't have it when I was in the projects. I don't even understand what that is, bro, to be honest with you. It's never been something I've been into. But the society make me feel like I should buy a crib, bro. Put furniture in that bitch. 
you know, have conversations on the lawn with Dale and shit. Like, I ain't even that type of person. You feel me? Neither was my brother, bro. We stayed in the rigs. I wouldn't know what to do. If I, don't know, I wouldn't know what to do with the motherfucker, bro. I'm over here spraying down shingles, cutting grass, routery. Man, get out of here, bro. That's not me. Peace to the God and the rebirth. It's not me. I'm trying to be out in the, in the, in the, I'm trying to be out in the world, man. I'm doing shit. Trying new restaurants, Montana truck stops. I don't want to be locked down to one freaking place, bro. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, bro. I'm sorry. I thought I did when I came home, start doing this like regionally local stuff. I've been doing it for like three years, man. I'm here to tell you shit is whack, bro. It's freaking whack, dog. I don't like it. Sometimes I want to go to Dallas, go to the fancy mall, go to the fancy movie theaters when the, where the seats move with the movie, and I want to get a pretzel and some nachos and something to drink and then slide by the freaking cell phone store, buy a new Bluetooth, go to Best Buy, blow a band, all that. I want to do all that. You feel me? Well, I see you. You're now top of the carriage. And now what, you know, the thing my, thing my brother passed and taught me was, nigga, do what you want to do, bro. So it could be over. It could be over, bro. For nothing. You feel me? It could be, this could be your last day right now. It could be your last day right now. You can get off this bitch, go in your sleeper, and not wake up, bro. You can get off this bitch, drive home, go to your freaking, take a shower, and not get out of the shower. And all them places, yo, me and my old lady, when we get a certain age, we're going to go T.I., we're going to see the country. And you just die, bro. And you know what they do when you die? They just put somebody else in your truck, bro. They don't even come to the funerals no more. So many of them. You feel me? Truck. And that's why I tell niggas, man, if you you home, you're a truck driver. I respect it. I'm a trucker. I'm dying to road. You hear me? I'm a trucker. When you get older, you die. That's it. <laughs> Ain't nobody making it out of this bitch. Don't worry about what's going to happen later. Right? It don't matter. You don't die, bro. That's what's going to happen. That's what happened niggas at the crib. They die. There, man, I got family members never had a CDL die 58 years old. It's all relative. It's all relative, bro. You can be healthy in the truck. Man, I've been home. I ain't been that much. You know, I've I've eaten better, you know. But let's we're going to be 100. I ain't been that much more active. When I get off work, I don't go to the gym. It is our choice to go eat that shit. You could take the time to go to the grocery store at the end of the week and eat the right stuff. I will even say it. You would have an easier structure of what you ate OTR than you would at home. Buy your food. Cook your food. You niggas at the crib ain't, ain't, ain't freaking cooking your food either. Y'all not eating chickpeas, nigga. You freaking going to Chick-fil-A. Let me go on name them. Chick-fil-A, Bojangles, Cookout, Golden Corral, Shoney's. Y'all eating that shit, man. Y'all y'all not eating well at the crib. Get out of here, bro. Manny, I see you kick Phil out the top of the kids. Pie pies. When I, when I, man, listen, when I go to the, the truck stop to start my day, and I get myself a coffee, because, you know, I be trying to fast on the lousy. You see what I'm saying? So, I get me some, um, I agree, King D. Raj. I get me some coffee, and I try to hold that coffee to 12, 1 o'clock before I eat. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I be seeing these local cats in there just like truckers, bro. They in the joint getting the, getting the, getting the nasty truck stop croissant with cheese and a honey bun and, and a large Red Bull, and they do the same thing cats do on the road, bro. Ain't no difference. You got, as King D. Rod said, you got bad habits on the road, you're going to have bad habits at the house, bro. You feel me? I, I got to sneeze. <laughs> Still going to go get a five-piece at Dodgers. But she looked at me, she like, what the fuck is Dodgers? You still going to do that. You hear me? Like, I got to struggle with this addiction of, of of sugar it don't matter where i'm at bro office buildings but i know they got a vending machine in there yeah yeah so i ain't even worrying about that i still can get a fix it don't gas station honey buns you see what i'm saying it don't matter where i'm at the shippers all they got is the vending machines there i go in there and get me a payday a, con a chunky monkey it don't matter bro saying that i'm fat 
because I'm at I'm in OTR as a fucking cop out, bro. You fat because you like that food, bro. And if you go home, you're really going to have more access to it. That's it. And that's if you have an old lady. And we know y'all can't do that. So most of y'all at the crib by yourself eating Stouffer's lasagnas and beating off. You're not eating better. You're not living better, bro. It's just in your mind. You're not, you're not playing kickball on the weekends. You're not playing a pickup basketball game. You're not, you're not at, you're not doing none of that, bro. You sitting in the house the same way you were sitting in the truck. Feel me? You don't have a chunky monkey, nigga. Don't act like you It gets hold on you, bro. You know, you ain't doing none of that, bro. You at the crib doing the same shit you was doing on the road. You just seeing less places. And here's something that I learned. If a person who's over 35 tell you they're serious about their weight and they don't have a Fitbit and they got a CDL, they're lying. I said it. I said, I'd rather be on a ride. And when I get out there, I'm going to work on certain things and that my content is going to lean towards that. You OTR and ain't got a zero fasting app on your phone, you're lying, bro. You just living to be living. You're not working on your health. You're not working on none of that. When I, when I wear this Fitbit, it'll tell me you did terrible today. You only got 1,800 steps today. You at least need five for me not to bother you. I need that. Some people don't. Some people just... They're at the house doing what they're supposed to do. But I'm here to tell you, most of them are not, bro. They're not. They're not, bro. Go to the Chili's. Look around the bar. There's truck, local truck drivers sitting there drinking and eating fajita mixes all day, period. Yeah, Samsung Health, it's all of them. Everybody got one, Apple, all that, you know, some way to track yourself. You hear me? You got to, you know, you eating over 1600 calories and you sitting in the truck all day, man, you lost, bro. You're lost. Paul, you're now top of the cash app. They don't like this conversation, Paul. I know they don't. I know it's, it's not a fun conversation because they have to think about what they not haven't done. You got to think about that now. What haven't you done? Matter of fact, what you eat today? What you eat today? Quiet. What you ate today? What you eat this morning? Yeah, you be cupcaking then. What you eat? Look, man, quiet. See what I'm saying? Quiet as a church mouth. Now y'all about to say a whole bunch of good shit. You know y'all not eating, bro. Fruit. I ain't fruit. What fruit? Grilled chicken salad with a bunch of ranch, a bunch of cheese on it. Bro. That's why I said, man, I just decided to be real, bro. It ain't real. It don't matter if you home or not, bro. It don't matter. Fruit. Or something else. And then to turn around and tell me I should stay local for my health. Man, I've been local. You know what I realized? It ain't no difference in being OTI, bro. If that's the truth. Matter of fact, there's more food distractions at home. Everywhere trying to get you, bro. Everywhere I look, truck stops got fried chicken in it, honey buns, Twizzlers. Oh, my God. And the main one that's trying I'm telling y'all, I'm struggling with that. Y'all to bag me up, bro. Bag me up. It's something about a cherry Pepsi, bro. It's something about a cherry Pepsi, bro. I be trying to say no to that joint, bro. I swear I do, bro. I swear. I swear to God, bro, I do. But a cold cherry Pepsi? What's going on, Sugarfoot? I see you, Tasha. You actually top of the cash. You knocked the men down the cash, you see? But they balling. I will say this on air. Cherry Pepsi's better than cherry cola. Easy. A cold cherry Pepsi, bro? And don't let it be a summer day from you driving and flatbed and you walk in there. And, and then I was at one place and I, I hope I, I'm about to lose this bitch because I've been emotional this week. I pull up to the joint. You hear me? I pull in. I'm having a good Christian day. I go to the joint, man. I'm at the loves. You feel me? I walk past the joint. Now, this is what I walk past. I walk past the honey buns. I walk past the chips. I walk past the hot food. I walk, I, I walk past all that. And then I get to the refrigerator to get me a water and I must have opened the wrong refrigerator. This refrigerator had, had cherry colas, cherry Pepsi, cold, sweating. And they had a fucking Reese's in the door, bro. I said, they trying to kill us, bro. They trying to kill us. They trying to kill us, bro. Like, what? I had to get it, bro. And it was a king size Snickers, semi frozen in the refrigerator, waiting, bro. Who told these people we like to freeze the Reese's? That's what I'm saying, bro. I was like, yo, I just looked at that shit and I just cried and I ate it. I, I picked it up. I took it to the truck. I didn't move out the fuel line. I admit 
I opened it up. I demolished the Reese's and drunk it and just cried. The fuck else I'm supposed to do? It was right there. They put them together. And I'm local. <laughs> I'm just in this day cab <laughs> demolishing this Reese's, bro. And I ducked the Reese's on the, on the counter and everything. But then there it was. I don't think y'all believe me when I say this is an addiction, bro. I feel like y'all think I'm... It's not real. And I and it was and it's really bad because it was off like a four day where I did everything right for four days. And I, I just I I just broke, man. And when I come home, I'll be feeling like my old lady know I failed too. She know too. Like, nigga, you ate that recently, nigga. I know you did. I come in there, I have chocolate all on the collar and shit and be like, I did good today. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And I told her, I should, I got my will be to y'all. I go to the same truck stop. <laughs> what does it matter? What does it matter, bro? That's why I started thinking in my head. That means they had to have been watching us enough to know that people say, oh man, I like to put my Reese's in the refrigerator or the freezer. And they listened. And then they did it. Pre-ready to go. So my thing is, and then when I did that, I did my shift. I went home and I got a gym membership and I drive by that bitch on the way home. I don't be feeling like hitting that joint, bro. I'm sorry. When I get off of a 12 hour shift, I don't feel like hitting no gym. Am I the only one here? Y'all telling me y'all getting off a 12 hour shift and you going to the gym for an hour, two hours? I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I don't believe that shit. I think you're lying. Person. Who's going to the gym after the shift at local? I'm not. Who's going to the gym? <laughs> Joe done said it's a waste of money. <laughs> he ain't giving them no. It's like, who is doing that shit? I mean, am I just that much of a piece of shit that... Um, y'all get y'all telling me y'all are getting off work and you're going in there for two hours and you busting out like bodybuilder workouts, you running for an hour after the job, then you going home, you don't you don't come on, bro. Look at this. Hazmat Taker says he goes before, bro. You go before work. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm just being honest. I'm way too honest, bro. I'm not doing it. You know, I be thinking about it, man. And my gym is placed in a way where when I hit the corner and it's like maybe a mile to the crib. Once I get like back in the town from the terminal and I see it every day, bro, it's biggest, biggest, brightest day. And I can make a left or a right. And I'd be like, fuck that gym. I'll make a right. I go home, bro. And I sit in my chair until it's time to go to sleep. And I wake up and do it all over again. That's me being a hundred percent honest with y'all. That's the truth, bro. Y'all make it seem like y'all at the crib freaking doing X, you know what I'm saying? Um, Tybo. Y'all freaking fasting, yoga in the morning, y'all doing all that. That's how y'all make it seem. You know what I'm saying? And then it'd be like, see you OTR, you fat, sloppy, stanky, son, bitch. Y'all make a make a few OTR dudes feel like, oh, you fat because you OTR, bro. If you got bad habits, it don't matter where you at, bro. You're gonna have bad habits, bro. And Taj is top of the cash app, a woman. You also will be dudes, big ball of dudes in here. Women knocking y'all out of the cash app. All y'all got paid today. And I know y'all going out to eat later. Soon as you get off, soon as you get to the crib, especially the local dudes, it's what local dudes do. They get their check, they finish their shift, they go home, they take their old lady out to something to eat on Friday, bro. And that junk, be, it be 7,000 calories, bro. Tell me I'm lying. You take her to that steakhouse you like going to, out back. You take her to one of them places, bro. You y'all go in there and y'all eat like you ain't got no freaking. Come on, bro. Jose got paid on Wednesday. Longhorn Texas Steakhouse. That's everybody do that, bro. On Friday, everybody do that. And and you ain't clocking how many Pepsis they giving you. None of that. She just keep refilling the Pepsi like she trying to make you die in this bitch. You take once. You need another one, bitch. Can you back off the table? Give me a second to, to enjoy the Pepsi first. Shit. You all over me right now. I'm already feeling bad. I'm drinking it. I looked down. I drunk three of these bitches, bro. You want to need another one? Need another one? Oh, my God. The bread. Then they bring you that bread, that brown Outback Steakhouse bread. Man, they got cocaine in that. I don't care what no one say. Them shits be knocking, bro. I don't care. Especially when they take away that first one. They bring you back one that's fresh out the bun oven. And it's like you crack that joint. It's like... <laughs> And it opened it up, and it's that sweet brown. I don't know, that's pumpernickel bread. I don't know what it is, bro. But I be crushing them joints, bro. I be telling her, bring me two, because I'm going I'm to I'm crush this loaf by myself. And then they give you that honey butter. 
So I got a this is this is my situation. I got a cold, sweating glass of Pepsi, and then I got a freaking um a freaking brown loaf of sweet bread, because that's what it is, and 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 honey butter with it, and I'm I don't even cut it and spread it, I just dip it in there and eat it. Cause I'm a freaking slob. And what she do? You ready to order? Can I get a 12 ounce with a loaded potato? You fat, funky bastard, you. And you get the loaded potato with extra sour cream. And then you say, oh, and give me the broccoli. Like broccoli's good for you. And you broccoli, you got cheese all over the broccoli. You acting like that's your vegetable. It's not, bro. It is not. It is not. It's not, bro. If, if any of y'all ordering broccoli, you ain't doing good, bro. I'm just letting you know that right now. You're not doing good. You're not doing good. And I'm sitting there eating this shit thinking, I could be OT off for of this. I could have been OT off for of this. Could have been OT off for of this. That's what I kept thinking. I can eat like this OT off, bro. I probably stayed in my diet better in OT off. That's how I be thinking. Like, I'm home and shit, but they work me so hard, bro. I don't got no time to do none of this. Man, I tried to do one of them prison squats. Damn, that diet, bro. One of them drop down. <laughs> Damn, hell. <yeah. laughs> I then they died out there at the truck stop trying to do that shit. They should. Because at some point, there's going to be a threshold where you don't care no more. And you just going you just gonna to eat whatever you want. You just going to eat whatever you want, bro. And, and your teeth going to get to fall in that. Your stomach going to get real big. You're going to get sores under your belly fold. Your freaking ankle going to be this big around. You can't reach your nails, so your nails is all long and jagged that's why you don't never wear shoes you can lace up no more because your back heel that thick and your your nails are so long because you can't reach them so you know what i'm saying you gotta wear shit to keep that shit out because your feet hurt you got blisters all down the side of your joint you got blisters all down the side of your leg and stuff you gotta wear them compression them compression socks yeah that's what's coming that's what's coming you mad your old lady don't do you no more because you stink. You trying to climb all on top of her and hit her with that sick ass erection you got. Pump a whole bunch of cholesterol cum inside of her. Like, come on, get out of here. Bro. And then when I tell you to do something, you look at it like I'm crazy. I'm telling you the truth, bro. I'm telling you the truth, man. You ain't doing nothing different at the crib. You doing OTR, bro. You know? We why we you know, we need to start doing uh target food hauls as truckers for trucker channels. Go in there, show what you're getting and shit. Show people can be done. Every time you get paid, you just got to, man, don't screw the load. You got to stop and get you some uh, stuff. You know, uh, water restriction. It's hard, man. I do I do the water restriction, but I fall off every time, every once and again, bro. But it's like sometimes I fall off. You know what I'm saying? Go in there, show what you're getting. How are you cooking your food? You know what I'm saying? Use what you use, an air fryer, whatever. You know, uh, are you fasting during the day? eating yourself a snack at 12 and then and when you shut down you cook your food and eat and then you go and do you go to sleep without eating no processed no commercial food out of the truck stop that's the only way we gonna make it bro that's it now i don't resort it to these these squirt these orange i don't resort it to these uh water additive joints to try to keep me off the other stuff they don't want to leave my i got a nice ass career bro i think i want to leave that shit but it's like Man, I'd rather be on the road, bro. I'm still going to be paying his rent. I'm going to be bone empty, bro. I'm just <laughs> getting the cat money, bro. I just signed a lease. So I was like, shit, I'm going to be giving him money for the next 12 months, bro. Just give him a thou wow and some change of a month, bro. Just getting it up. What can you do, man? Feel me like, can you do? We all think it's a joke. We all think it's a joke. You cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed the live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TB Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.